What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we're gonna be doing an oil change on the BMW 330. Of course, meaning it has the B46 slash B48. All right, so I have the car here already on some ramps. I have my tools, I have the oil, my oil pan over there. So let's just go ahead and get into it. All right, so first things first, we're gonna go inside underneath the hood, and then we're gonna open up all the caps, at least just crack them open a little bit. All right, so before we even do that, we're gonna take off some of the plastic, so the engine cover right here. We're also gonna take off this plastic piece, which covers the DME or the ECU, so that way we can better reach the filter right in there. So let's start by opening up the oil cap, just like this. We don't need to take it off all the way, just enough to let some air in, like that should be good enough. Next, we're gonna undo the filter. So this is a 28 millimeter uh, six point socket. So if you guys need one of those, I will leave a link down in the description below. But to better get to it, we're actually gonna remove this right here. So you can just undo that, just so we have a little more leverage when getting to it. I think that should be good enough. So I'm gonna grab my 27 millimeter socket, uh, which I believe this is the right one. Yep, it is. So of course you'll also need a ratchet and then probably a decent extension to get to there. So I think uh, this one should be fine. All right, so with these two sort of undone, we can get some better airflow going. So that way we can now drain the old oil out of the car. So of course we're gonna go underneath. We'll get my drain pan ready. And we'll start draining the oil. That one should be a 17 millimeter, I wanna say. Uh, so yeah, let's do that. All right, so I'll actually just show you guys really quickly where the drain plug is in relation. So I actually have it uh, right over here. I believe mine is a little different than a US car. So this is a Canadian car, if you guys didn't know already. So I have this like eight millimeter screw right over here, which I already started undoing. So behind here, let's put this down somewhere so I don't lose it. Uh, behind here, I can take this off. You guys will see the drain plug right there. So again, that is a 17 millimeter. I believe on US spec cars, it's just sort of like a plastic, uh, sort of like this material almost. And then there's like a cubby, which you just undo uh, like the top over here with a flat head. This one is a little different. All right, as you guys can see, my oil is now draining. When you're trying to drain it, just uh, break it with a ratchet at first, then just finish unscrewing it with your hand. That way you can just kind of, you know, control the spillage a little better. As you guys can tell, I always spill oil on myself. It's inevitable for me, but anyways, uh, hopefully you guys won't spill on yourself. All right, so now with the oil draining, I went ahead and took out the filter. Uh, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, it is a pain to get back there. Also, when I took it off, the housing came off first and then the filter ended up getting stuck inside there. No big deal if that happens to you, just pull the filter out as well. But yeah, let me just show you guys, I have it set up right over here. So like I said, this ended up coming off by itself. Again, no big deal, totally fine. Here's the old filter. So what we're gonna do guys before installing the new one is remove this old o-ring right over here just take note of where it is located because i personally always forget myself uh so we're going to take this off we're going to grab the new one which is going to come in our new filter and then we're going to put the new filter on we're going to lubricate the new o-ring with some oil uh, we can literally just use some oil that's in here uh so yeah that should be totally fine but yeah guys let's just do that all right and just like that guys we have the new filter set up so of course this is the new filter itself this part over here is going to go towards the bottom there's actually a groove that this goes into here is the new o-ring again came with my new filter like i said before i did lubricate this with some oil so yeah, guys that's pretty much it uh this is good to go so we're going to put this back inside the car these should technically be torqued down Forgetting the exact spec, I wanna say 25 Newton meters, don't quote me on that. But personally, I just go in, I hand tighten it, and then I just make sure it's snug enough with a ratchet. Basically, just wanna make sure that the, the O-ring is seated correctly. I'm just paranoid about over tightening it, but you know, do what you guys think is best. All right guys, so I got the new filter in. Maybe just a few words of advice. One, I actually ended up removing the filter from the housing first. I found that it was easier to put it back inside that way. Uh, that groove that was towards the bottom, you wanna make sure that it's in. It's actually towards the back, so maybe just getting a light and seeing where that groove exactly lands will help you out. Yeah, so put just the filter in, make sure the groove is in, and then put on the cap or the housing itself, whatever you wanna call it. Once you do that, make sure you can hand tighten it. You should be able to hand tighten it uh, almost like all the way, honestly. If you're not able to, you're probably cross-threading it. And of course, guys, we don't wanna do that. So after I hand-threaded it as much as I can, almost all the way, I did grab my ratchet, of course, with my 27 millimeter. Again, guys, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but this will be linked down in the description below if you need it. I'll also link some ratchets and extensions if you guys don't have some already. But yeah, so after that, I took my ratchet and I tightened it. Uh, it's pretty hard to honestly get like a grip in there, but I did the best that I can uh, and I made sure 
that it was snug, you're basically gonna feel it until like it can't really tighten anymore. You don't wanna over tighten this, guys. Just make sure that it is snug. Anyways, guys, you can now see that we're down to a drip. They actually think it's done dripping too. So with that said, we're gonna put back on the drain plug. Uh, we're gonna replace the crush washer on it with the new one. And then after that, we can go ahead and start filling up oil. All right, and here is our drain plug. So as you guys can see, it has the old crush washer on it. So that's good. It came off when I took off the drain plug. So we're gonna go ahead and grab our new one. And here it is. So this will also come with your new filter as well as the O-ring. Uh, so you guys are pretty much good to go. Just wanna place it on like that. We can go ahead and start tightening this up underneath. Similar to the filter, you wanna make sure you hand thread this as much as possible. You can basically do it like all the way. Again, it does have a torque spec, but I'm personally just gonna tighten it up until it feels snug. All right, so with that now tightened down below, uh, we're good to go. I also put that cover back on, so with that eight millimeter. But anyways, now with all that done, we can go ahead and remove this cap completely. It was pretty much off anyways. Take our funnel, just put it in just like that, and we'll start filling up oil. So here's the oil I will be using. OW20, which is the recommended oil for this B46 slash B48. I also did get the Liquid Molly, which I always do. If you do want oil, uh, FCP Euro is definitely the best place to do it. Uh, with that lifetime warranty, you really can't go wrong. But uh, with that said, let's just start filling up our car with oil. And then after that, uh, we're pretty much good. We're just gonna measure our oil level. And then we'll also reset the oil change light, which I'll show you guys at the end. So definitely stay tuned. All right, and so as you guys can see, uh, all the covers are back on. I did top off on oil. I ended up putting the full six quarts which is what's recommended on these cars. Everything is now back in place. By the way, you guys, I know this isn't super, super detailed. I did already make a video on the B58, which is almost exactly the same process uh, with the exception of where you find the drain plug as well as what socket size to use on the filter. Otherwise, it's the same exact process. But yeah, with that said, uh, we're pretty much good, guys, on the oil change. We just have to check everything. So we're gonna measure our oil level, make sure that it is all good. And then we'll also reset that light, like I mentioned before. So before we reset that service light, we want to make sure that our oil levels are all good. So the way you wanna do that, uh, because there is no dipstick in this car, you wanna go into your iDrive system over here. You wanna go into my vehicle, down to vehicle status over here. And then if you guys just press to the left, using this over here, so just like that, you can then go down to engine oil level. And then you press on measure engine oil level. So just a heads up guys, you do need to make sure that the car is on a level service. So I of course took it off those ramps uh, just down to the driveway so it is level. You also wanna make sure that your car is up to operating temperature so my car is. All right, and mine is done. As you guys can see here, my engine oil is good. Hopefully it's kind of hard to see the screen, but it is between max and minimum. As long as you guys are somewhere between there, you are good to go. So yeah, the car is good, oil level is good. So now we can reset that light. So to reset that light, you have to kind of go into a bit of a secret menu if you wanna call it that. So just press on the start button once while the car is off and you don't have your foot on the brake. So now you guys will see over here, you have your check engine light. That basically is a good indication that you're in accessory mode. So once in accessory mode or diagnostic mode, that is also called, you wanna go to this button right over here. This is a physical button. You wanna press and hold this. And when you're pressing and holding it, you should see a menu pop up on the bottom. And there it goes. So as you guys can tell, it says uh, engine oil 4,100 miles. Now it says reset possible. So you wanna do to reset it is press and hold that same button again. It'll confirm or, you know, ask you to confirm. So you just want to press and hold it one last time. And it says reset in progress. So just like that, guys, reset successful does not take too long. So after that, guys, you are all set. You are done with your oil change. Uh, oil changes are pretty easy. In my opinion, they just get messy and they can be time consuming if you're filming them like I do. But uh, for this video, I did keep it pretty quick. I didn't film every single thing. So again, if you guys want a more detailed video, definitely check out the video I did for the B58. And I just wanted to make this again because I know I have a lot of people with the B46 slash B48 who watch my videos. So I figured this might be helpful. So yeah, if you guys did find it helpful, uh, please drop it a like. It really helps me out. But anyways, guys, with that said, this video is done and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.